Howdy guys, welcome back to Azuriel Circle. For this video, we're going to be picking up where we left off in room 402. And uh, as soon as we walked in this room, we didn't have access to leave this place. So we're going to start exploring. This place, I've only been in this room, but take a look and there's actually three other doors we can go into. And then down here, there's actually two extra doors. So this place is probably going to be pretty big. So for now, let's just try going straight. It might be some sort of... Yeah, you see it like kind of loops back on itself. So uh, it's probably going to be some sort of maze. Let's talk to this guy though. He's just talking gibberish again. One of those freaks. So let me try just walking around and see if I see anything different. But I don't know. Um, it's really dark. It's hard to see what's going on, but... Maybe, um, let me just play around with it. I'll cut back if I come across anything else. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> uh, it's backwards. They're not speaking gibberish, it's just written backwards. I don't know why I didn't, I, I don't know. Were the other ones in the other room? What was that, 301? There was another room full of these guys. I thought they were all talking gibberish. Were they just speaking backwards too? Let me try to read this. Hold on. North. Finally. Oh, wait. Let me start from the end of the sentence. North, east, west. North, east, south. East, north. And finally north. Oh, God. I got to write this down. Give me just a second here. Okay, wrote it down. Let's do this. North, east, west, north. Is that the same guy? Gosh dang, did I write it down wrong? Hold on, let me just double check this really quick. All right, you know what? Let's actually try to start. I just double checked it. I wrote everything down right. Let's try to start from this room because this is the room we started in originally. So let's do it one more time. North. <laughs> this video is so stupid. East, west, north, east, South, and then east, north, north. Thank God. Jeez, man. I like I like puzzle games and all, but when you have to break out a pen and paper, it's like I don't want to be writing stuff down. But anyways, uh, picking up. We got through pretty much the whole building, but we still don't have access to... Room 401, and then looking back too, I noticed there was a, like a mailbox that's still locked, so we still got some stuff to do. This place looks normal so far. Couch is filthy. Let's take a look over here. Oh, there it is! There's the circle! Should I walk in it? <laughs> no. This must be Robbie. Oh, that's the kid that stabbed himself in the face. He really did stab himself in the face with a knife. That about sums up this job, doesn't it? Kids being killed by demons and little kids covered in shadows haunting the place? Not my average day at the office, but it, uh, I was at least warned there'd be some weird shit. Let me talk to the name right here. Azuriel. That's definitely the name that Birch told me about when he explained the job. These stupid kids really have messed up big time. Okay, what's in here? Look as good as ever. <laughs> We've already heard that. Can't say I really need to piss. Should we just walk in the circle? I feel like that's the only thing left to do. All right, let's do it. Because remember in chapter one, um, what's his name? Clint was like, stay away from the circles. 
Really? Nothing? I could have swore that was going to kill me. <laughs> or do something. What do I do now, though? Did I miss anything in the bathroom? I'm sorry. I, I haven't even grabbed anything in this room yet. Let me try to go back over here. In the sink, maybe? Typical sink, not worthy of my time. Um, let's just try... Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, we, we didn't have to go through that stupid maze again. What do you want? Do you see now part of Azuriel's essence made it through the opening to hell? I can't understand you. What are you trying to say? God damn it. I don't want to read this all backwards. It started with Helen Lancaster. That was the, the mom of Clint from chapter one. So maybe we will learn more about them. I was kind of like, wow, chapter two has nothing to do with chapter one. Birch isn't to be trusted. Birch is the guy that hired Don, um, the guy we're playing as right now. Still nothing, kid. Get out of here. Scram. I'm only trying to help. I miss my mother. Oh, that's actually kind of sad. Poor kid. I'm so lonely. <laughs> I just started to read his sentence backwards. <laughs> Those little things give me the chills. All right. Um, let me try to leave this place now. Something's got to change. Something has to change. Let me try to just walk outside and see if there's any cutscenes or anything else going on. Got a job to do. I can't leave just yet. Oh, you know what? Let's go talk to Marcus, actually. Let's see if we can grab him and get out of here. But this is the mailbox I was talking about. We still don't... We can't get into this one yet. 401 is still locked. Oh, and yeah, 401. That's the room we, uh, we don't have access to as well. So let me talk to Marcus. Just going to wait here. I've been safe in this room. Um, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Let's try talking to the girl. What's her name? Um, Lydia? I think she's in 301. Maybe she has something to say. Because, yeah, I guess we went and saw her brother. So I guess if anybody had something to say, it would be Lydia. I'm back. I saw your brother's body. It's horrible. Don't, come on. Don't say the body's horrible to his sister. That's messed up, man. Robbie's dead. Andrew's dead. Go on. There was a man here. He killed him. I don't know who. Gregory is next. I locked them up. Nice and safe. Nice and safe. Nice and... Hmm. She seems semi-conscious. Must have been a side effect of the pills. What's in her hand? Another key? Maybe I'll still be able to find Gregory. It says for apartment 401. Perfect. Thank you. Just what I was looking for. So that pretty much takes care of every room then. Um, one thing I want to try though is I want to go back, play through, and then try shooting everything I can. But for now, let's try not to shoot anything if we don't have to. Who's that? Hey, you. Ah. Don't sneak up on me like, uh, don't sneak up on somebody like that. I wasn't making much effort to be quiet. Sorry I yelled. I panicked. Are you Gregory? I'm here to help. Yeah? Who are you? How much trouble are we in? A lot. But that's not what I'm here for. My name is Don. I'm just trying to find out what's going on here. Why? Irrelevant to our conversation. I'm an investigator, not the police. I'm not going to arrest anybody. Have you been locked in here all this time? Yeah. She locked me in and kept yelling at me. Who? Lydia? Yeah, her. Lydia. She said something about a man here. Did you see anybody else in the building? She did. There was some other kid who showed up here. I don't know what he, uh, I don't know what he was up to, but I think he might have been on drugs. 
Drugs in this place? Yeah. Well, we ended up fighting and he jumped out of the window. Jumped? Are you sure? Fine, fine. I pushed him. Are you happy now? Well, that was easy. <laughs> nice confession. Not really. This job has been bigger pain than I thought it would be. So you killed a guy? I was trapped in here and it was him or me. What was I supposed to do? I'd have killed him too. Don't worry. I'm not here to condemn you. So what now? It's time to get out of here. Normally, I'd keep questioning you here, but this building... Never mind. Are you coming? We can talk more away from this place. Not yet. We can't go now. Why? I'm not living without destroying my notes. Your notes? I dropped them out the window into the alley during the fight. What's with you kids and throwing things out of the window? I'm guessing you're too scared to go there, uh, to get them. Absolutely. You've seen nothing until you've seen one of the, your friends stab himself to death while yelling at the top of his lungs. I, he's right. I mean, I guess I'd be scared too. Besides, my legs are injured. I fell during the whole ordeal and it's been sore since. Let's just go. I'll destroy your notes. No. Bring it up here and we'll destroy both the notes and the circle next to the door together. Don't you trust me? Why should I? I met you only moments ago. All right, be ready to leave when I get back or I'm going without you. We'll destroy the evidence, then pick up Lydia and Marcus, then we'll leave. Okay, agreed. Thanks. Wait, take these. Bold cutters. I was like thinking to myself, like, where am I going to find the bold cutters? Why in the hell do you have these? I found them when I was looking through the cupboards. I can see that the alley door is chained. These might work. All right, perfect. Let me just uh, snoop around a little bit. See if we can find anything else. God, look how dirty that guy is. There's like stains all over his clothes. Let me take a look in here. I still want that key to the mailbox. Maybe it's in one of his dressers, hopefully. No, nothing. All right, well, I guess there's nothing else then. So let me cut right here and I'll uh, cut back when I'm outside. Let's do this. These bolt cutters ought to sort out that chain. Got it. Getting too old for this. <laughs> I wonder how old he is. All right. Oh, there's the body. There's the notes. What language are these notes written in? Never seen this before. I'll ask Gregory to explain himself before anything else. Time to head upstairs and wrap things up. Let me talk to this guy first. So this is the guy that Gregory killed. Looks like he hit his head on the way down. Must have spun around a bit to crack his head on the bottom window. I'm curious. Who is he? His wallet has a driving, uh, driving license in it. His name is... Gregory Peterson? This isn't good. Oh no. I was like, wait a second, do they have the same name? Why is there an imposter here? Does it have something to do with Azuriel? It must. Oh man. What do I do? Should I go shoot him? Hey little buddy. <laughs> No, we're, we're not going to shoot the crow. Come on. Maybe. No. No shooting yet. Unless... Maybe that bird has the key. I'll go back and try to shoot it. <laughs> I don't want to. Um, Alright, well, should we try to talk to... Uh, maybe we should try to talk to Marcus and ask him about it? Yeah, good idea. I found Lydia and Gregory. They're still alive? What about Andrew? Dead. So is Gregory. What? It's just me and Lydia left? Yes. There's somebody in the building pretending to be Gregory. I'm not sure why, but it's not going to be for a heroic reason. What the hell? Who? I'm not sure, but we've got two choices. 
We get the hell out of here now, or I go and see if I can deal with him. I don't know, man. It's your call. I'm in way over my head. <sighs> what should I do? What should... Okay, wait a second, wait a second. We're a detective here. I mean, we have a gun. Let's just try to leave. I'll go back and show it what... uh. I'll go back, but... We should get out of here. He has something to do with all this. I don't like this one bit. To hell with the job. We're grabbing Lydia from upstairs and getting out of here. I've never been a religious guy, but thank God for that. So we just left. It's a crazy story, I know. I tried to think how much worse it could have been if we confronted the imposter. I don't scare easily, but this apartment complex scared the living daylights out of me. I hope the events here don't come back to haunt any of us f any further. Wow. So that was, I guess, one of the endings. I mean, it worked out good. Like, nobody else died. But let's go back. I'm going to cut back to... Mm, let's cut back to not killing anything, not killing the bird, and then staying. Okay, well, I got that taken care of. I did not kill the bird. You know what else we could try too? Is after we pick up the notes, don't look at the body in the dumpster. So maybe we'll try that next. Because then he'll never know that that's not Gregory. But for now, let's go ahead and... Stay. I'm going to put an end to this. Stay here and I'll go see him. Good luck, man. Oh, jeez. Well, I still have six bullets. Um, let me talk to Lydia really quick. See how she's doing. Probably, uh, she's probably out of it, but let me just double check really quick. Yeah, nothing really changed with her. So let me cut back to room 401. Gregory, I've got your notes. That's great, thank you. However... I've still got a job to do, so I need to hear what happened when Kyle stabbed himself. Okay. Kyle started screaming and yelling about a demon being inside of him. After that, he took out his knife and just started stabbing himself in the face. Kyle just kept screaming and screaming. It was horrifying. Marcus said that you've all been friends for years. A long time, yes. Funny that. The kid who stabbed himself? You'd think that you'd remember his name if you're such good friends. His name was Robbie. Of course. Sorry, my head is fuzzy. I haven't eaten in days. I found Gregory's body in the dumpster. Did you know he carries ID on him? Did you think I wouldn't check? Who are you? Hmm. Tell me everything and maybe I'll let you walk out of here alive. My name is Darren. Was? Zuriel has promised to give me a new name, more fitting of a true believer. What the hell are you talking about? I live in this building. I heard those kids messing around in here and went to take a look. I was going to say this guy looks like way older than a kid. Maybe it's just the goatee, I don't know. They were performing some sort of ritual. It was bizarre. It was unnatural. But I couldn't? Not watch from a distance. Then, the kid, Robbie, started stabbing himself and screaming like a complete lunatic. When he dropped to the ground, something changed in me. I felt a force come over me and a voice started speaking to me from within my own head. Azurael. He promised me power and fortune if I could aid him. He wanted me to kill the rest of the teens, so I began my hunt. Until that stupid bitch locked me in here with one of them. And with your busted leg, you couldn't bust the door down. Have you tried? They're the sturdiest things in the damn place. So now there's a big question. Where do we go from here? You get out of my way and let me finish my task. I don't think so, kid. You'll do it or suffer. Azuriel's wrath too. Do it or else. What are you going to do, man? No sudden movements, punk. I'm armed, and you'll be dead, uh, dead son of a bitch if you move an inch without me telling you to. Shit. I didn't even get the option. 
That was not me. What the hell happened upstairs? Nothing new in these parts, is it? I thought you were dead. What happened? Besides all the supernatural shit? There was a guy upstairs pretending to be Gregory. The real Gregory fell to his death after the imposter pushed him from the window. No way, man. Poor Gregory, he was a good guy. Where's Lydia? I've left her in the corridor by the stairs. We need to get out of here. I'll drive you both home and then you're on your own. Okay. Thanks. I thought I was going to die in this room. Don't mention it. Let's go grab Lydia. You can carry her now. Leave me alone. Don't tell Birch anything. Get it in your head? I can't understand you. Leave. Me. Alone. I must leave. Goodbye, Mr. Edison. Who are you yelling at? Nobody. Hurry up. She's heavy, man. I needed a break. Oh my gosh. So that's what happened. Crazy, right? I'm not sure if anybody will believe it, but I've got all, the, all of it written down now. I reported back everything to Birch, but I left out a lot of stuff about the Shadow Children. Something about them. It's like they were speaking directly to me and only for me to hear. Maybe they say something different to each person? I don't know. I'm getting into the wild theories now. Birch knows more than he lets on. Those Scotsmen live in a place with plenty of ghosts, don't they? Only the deep south that has only the deep south has that kind of shit around here. Uh, I'll just go on with my life. Not much else to do. I've vented now, and that's that. Oh my gosh! There is so much stuff I want to try. So, um, two things I could think of right off the bat. First thing we're going to do, we're going to do the same exact thing, except not talk to the body in the dumpster. Let's do that first. And then the next thing I want to do is, um, we'll shoot the bird, but let's get to the same point as the previous one, but just run out of bullets shooting at other stuff. Should I shoot the bird now? I'll hold off on the bird. You're safe for today. <laughs> um, wait, what am I doing? Where am I? Oh, gosh dang it. I <sighs> Let me cut back really quick. I got to find a different save where I don't have Gregory's ID. Okay, got the notes, but don't talk to this guy. So now we don't have his ID. We don't know... <laughs> That uh, that Gregory's an imposter now. And then one more thing I could try too. There's actually I didn't come across this till recently, but there's a mirror, I think, in room two hundred one. I let me just show it off really quick. I'll be fast. But maybe after I talk to this mirror, Don will change a little bit, like his attitude towards the shadow people, because it says, "Wait, there's something marked faintly in the grime." How did they write so tiny? Reversed, reversed, reversed. If only you could read my voice instead of hear it. Which would be the perfect hint, but I never came across this when I first played through. Um, so maybe now he knows that they talk in reverse. So he'll like have a little bit of a different, uh, I don't know, outlook on these guys? Or maybe he'll be able to understand them now? But we'll try that for the next one. Let's just for now... Uh, let's talk to Marcus first. Oh, wait, that's the wrong room. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, nothing changed with him then. So let's just go talk to the imposter Gregory in 401. What's going to happen now? What are these notes? They're bizarre. It's just notes that I took before we began the ritual. What language are they in? It's just a code. I wanted to make sure that only I could read them. Doesn't mean that the code can't be cracked. All right. Not entirely sure I buy it, but let's go next door and destroy the rest of the evidence. We'll grab Marcus and Lydia from downstairs after. Lead the way. Oh, man. Is this guy about to die? 
Let go! I'm sorry, Don. You have to die, too. Just like Gregory did. It'll be over soon. You'll pass out from the lack of oxygen, and you won't feel a thing. Does he kill us? Wrong place, wrong time. Zuriel must be uh, released. I serve only the master. Oh man, so he did die. That's that's kind of sad, but what was that? Three endings. I'm gonna cut the video for now because I feel like I still have a lot of stuff I have to do. Um, there's a couple different options I want to try, so I know it's a little bit short of a video, but that'll be for the next video. I'll definitely post everything else I come across. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below, and thank you for watching.